welcome to this special video that we're putting out this week. We're looking toward a summer sermon series, actually two summer sermon series on the book of Ephesians. And I wanted to share a little bit of the what of what we'll be doing and also the why of what we'll be doing as we walk through these series. Mac Wiener, who's here for the summer, and I will be working through these series together through the book of Ephesians, which is a, a great book to study. But before we jump into that, I wanted to take a little bit of time this week through this video to share again where we're going and the reason that I picked this particular book. So when I was maybe about 12, my parents had to re-shingle their roof, and I'm still not sure why they let me and my brother get up there and help, but we did, and so we spent a lot of time on this old, really sharply pitched roof, pulling off the old shingles, putting on the new shingles, and as I was up there, pulling off a lot of the old shingles, I, I often took some time to look around and to reflect, and, and you had kind of a different perspective up there, and it made me thoughtful about where I was in life and where things were. And as, we, as we're thoughtful about where life is these days, there's lots of challenges. There's the pandemic and everything that's come along with that in terms of challenges for each of us individually and as a church. There's all the political polarization that we see, and it feels worse than it has for a long, long time. And then there's the pastoral transition we're in the middle of with faith, and, and the questions about how we move forward and how we move forward together well. As I was reflecting on those different streams of, of things in the reality of our church these days and thinking about where we wanted to go next in terms of preaching, well, the book of, the book of Ephesians came to mind. It's a book that, that shows us a picture of what life is supposed to look like, and it, it gives us another perspective. It gives us the opportunity to, to get up on the roof, so to speak, to look around, to, to see more than we usually see. And so we'll be doing that together this summer. So as I was up on my parents' roof, and as I'm up on the church roof today, I did some looking around and some reflecting and some some seeing things from a different perspective. And one of the things about being out in nature, one of the things about being a bit more elevated than usual is that is that you have the opportunity to experience something of God's grace that we maybe aren't as aware of when we're just going about our everyday activities. And so for the first for the first six or seven sermons that we're going to do, we're going to be doing a sermon series about the gift of God's grace. We gather as a church, our, our Christian lives, our new lives exist because of God's grace. And so often we've forgotten that and we focus on other things or we get distracted or we get pulled away or pulled apart. But but we are all about God's grace because, because God's grace ultimately is the only thing that brings us hope. And so for the next few weeks, starting this week and looking ahead, Mac and I are going to be going through the first three chapters of Ephesians and looking again and again and again at how much God's grace matters to us, how much God's grace transforms us, how much God's grace changes everything in our lives. That's going to be our first series, The Gift of Grace. So I spent a lot of time being thoughtful up on my parents' roof, but, but after that, after looking around and seeing some of the beauty of the trees and being able to look out over the block and see off into the horizon, there came a time where we actually had to do the roofing. So we had to pull off the old shingles and we had to go down several layers because we put layer on top of layer over the years. We had to pull off shingles and pull off shingles and pull off shingles and, and it was really a mess. And then, then we made the turn and we had to put, to put the new shingles on. So we shingled and we shingled and we shingled and the work went on and on and on and we got tired and we got dirty and we had to stop for the day and come back. But it was worth it. It was worth it in part because we got to spend the time enjoying each other's company, enjoying the world that God had made, and it was also worth it because at the end our house had a good roof again. Well, the, the second part of the book of Ephesians, chapters 4 to 6, is all, about, is all about how we build the community of Christ together. Our second sermon series, kind of the second half of the summer fading into the fall, is going to be about Ephesians 4 to 6, and we're going to call it the practice of peace. The second half of the book of Ephesians is about how we live in peace, how we live in unity, how we live together, how we work through our differences, and how we stand strong in Christ. And there are things as a church we have to, 
we have to maybe pull apart a little bit. Practices we have to ask ourselves about. Forgiveness we have to ask for and offer to others. But then there's also the positive end of it, that there's much that we have to build on and much that is good. And so we together can spend good time together, can join in this work, can build up our unity, can build up the witness that faith has to be the best church family we can be because of the grace that God gives us and because he shows us how to practice peace together. So that's where we're headed this summer. We're, we're going to be working together to again appreciate the greatness of God's grace and again to practice the peace that he has given to us as his people. So again, Mac and I will be preaching through the book of Ephesians in the coming months, and we want to invite all of you along on this journey as we at Faith strive to be people who really live into the gift of God's grace and who truly also live into the practice of His peace in our relationship with Him, with each other, and the world around us. We'll be preaching through this beginning this Sunday in the mornings throughout the summer to the end of August or so. We pray that you are blessed, that you too experience God's grace and God's peace, both individually and as our church body. Go in grace and peace now. We hope to see you this Sunday.